everyone. Oh, that's super close. Let's see if everybody starts coming in yet. Hi guys. Hello everyone. Just getting everything set up real quick so we can get this started. It's going to be super fun today, guys. I got a new phone, so Facebook was giving me some issues. I guess apparently I hadn't let I hadn't agreed to let it do everything for me, so I had to uh log out and log in and restart the app and all that good stuff. So I got it all taken care of. So I got my old phone right here that I'll be able to probably post some things, you know, like uh, pin things to it and all, all that good stuff. Christy, I missed you too. Thanks. <laughs> I missed you from Harlow from Lower, Lower Michigan. Hi guys. Let me make sure this volume is down. Okay, and then I'm going to get my Facebook up over here. Come on, Facebook. Let me see what I got going on over here. Hi, Paula. Hi, Anna. Teresa. Cindy Lou. Indiana. Jeanette. Hi, guys. Uh, Pat, yeah, I couldn't find me because I was having issues. Got a new phone. Here's my old phone. Got a new phone, and uh, I'd had, I hadn't agreed to let it do everything for me just yet. <laughs> so uh, all that is done now, and of course, everything is updating over here on my tablet. Come on. Oh. Electronic issues today, guys. Sorry. Hold on one sec. I had somebody on YouTube got upset because uh, I took too long messing with my uh, electronics. <laughs> I thought it was cute. I was just like, nah, not going to happen. Sorry. That's part of a Facebook Live. You guys all love me. You all understand. There we go. Have no idea just what happened. Why did it open Twitter? There we go. Okay. Got my tablet. Got my phone. All right, glad to see me smiling. Yeah, this week has been full of research, you guys. I've been researching all kinds of good stuff. I'm, I got a, an idea and in, in the process of filming a tutorial for you guys. And then um, that one will be a paid tutorial available on my Etsy shop once I get it done. I'll let you guys all know all the good stuff. Um, you guys all saw that the daisy wreath I just made last night, I posted that. The Etsy listing is live. And it will be customizable for color if you guys wanted me to make you one for color. In any different color there's also another dahlia wreath uh, flower wreath I'm gonna have um, that one also will be customizable for color but I'm waiting for supplies to come in from craft outlet so once I get the supplies in I'll go over those with you guys I'll do like a little Facebook live of supply orders you guys seem to like those right you want to see all the stuff I bought hi Irina I'm good thanks New Jersey in the house hey such is life. Yes, Janet, that is life, isn't it? It's all good. You're worth the wait. Thank you, Trish. How's the weather there? Carol, it's windy and it got cold again. And when I say cold, I mean like, you know, like in the 50s and the 60s. <laughs> it's, it's freezing for me here. <laughs> That's how that goes here. Um, let's see. Hi from cold snowy Ohio. Yet, I, well, I shouldn't complain about it being cold, but yeah. <laughs> Carol, Hi. Oh, and buried, buried in, in snow, I bet, Pennsylvania. All right, guys, today is um, like Easter-y. I, I wanna, I'm only saying Easter because these guys are going to be the main event. You see how cute these eggs are? I got them at Hobby Lobby the other day, and Hobby Lobby had all of their um, Easter stuff, spring stuff, like 40% off. So um, that's the only reason I say Easter, but mainly I want to keep it more spring, summer farmhouse so that you could leave this out probably maybe in a kitchen on um you could put this particular item on a uh, countertop if you have a bar if you have like a, a touchdown station in your in your kitchen it could be a centerpiece on your dining room table even just on your breakfast table if you have two separate rooms like a formal dining and a, and a casual dining this is going to be super cute for anywhere i personally would love it even in my living room um and this will also be available on etsy too 
I'm doing like a big shop, um, a shop overhaul. So if you guys have been to my Etsy recently, I'm going to do an overhaul coming up the later on. Well, today's Wednesday. So probably by the end of this week or this weekend, you guys will see a lot of uh, changes in my Etsy shop. And um, you guys can all take a peek at that. My Facebook decided to restart over here on my, my tablet, guys. So super annoying. Let's see if I can get these comments to come back in. So um, this is what I wanted to do. I'm only saying Easter because, again, I said, like, I have eggs, right? These are Hobby Lobby eggs. And then I also got this at Hobby Lobby. I'm, I'm picking, like, the more natural eggs that have, like, the speckles on them. So it's more of, like, not super pink and pastel and iridescent and shiny, like, bright in your face Easter. But more kind of natural. So it'll go more towards, like a kitchen and a farmhouse design, not even just farmhouse. Like I live in the desert guys, but I love country farmhouse, but I also like super like fancy, you know, pretty fabrics and colors and stuff like that. I mix it all together. I don't feel like there's any one rule or reason to go with. If you like it and it makes you happy, go for it. So I like to say that a lot. If it makes you happy, go with it. <laughs> and then these I got at Michael's and I felt like, you know, this one has a little bit of gold in it. We're not going to use so much of these green ones, but I am going to use some of these light white ones in there. So I just got a, a range of size, right? And then I got a lot of greenery. I'm going to pan down so you guys can see more of my workstation here. Let me see. Make sure you got a good view. Right now you got a view of nothing but greenery, guys. Nothing but greenery. So this looks like this phone doesn't give me as good of a... Gives you a better view of just my whole workstation. So we'll just do that. You guys don't need to see my face. How's that? Does that work out good? You guys see more of that? Got my glue skillet, glue gun. All right, guys. Let me see what's going on here. I just want to make sure I have all of your comments coming up. Cheryl, feel 47 feels like 42 South Carolina. Jeez. Okay, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> Uh, we are visiting Vegas next month. Bobby and Brenda Marcus. Hope it's warm but not hot. Oh, yeah, it'll be perfect, you guys. It'll be perfect. The heat doesn't roll in until maybe May, May, June. Um, and even then, it's a dry heat. Everyone says, you know, it, it, it will get, like, suffocatingly hot, but it's dry heat. So I know a lot of people who come from a lot of the East Coast and the more humid climates say it's not it's not unbearable and it's just like you know you guys it's like any other um it's like any other state you know someone says oh how do you live in the snow how do you live in the humidity you spend most of your life indoors with either air conditioning units heaters dehumidifiers you know that's just life in vegas it gets to 117 degrees you spend most of your days in the air conditioning and if for some reason your air decides to break in the summer because if it does it will you go and you stay in a hotel or you try to tough it out, but let me tell you, trying to stay in your house, because it's happened to me when I was a kid and as an adult, when you try to live in a house in 117 degrees outside with no air conditioning inside, no bueno. You go to your friend's house. <laughs> so it's the same thing. It should be great no matter what, especially if you're staying in a hotel or with friends. You can soak up all their air conditioning, but next month will be great to come here. You're getting a foot up here in upstate New York, Jackie. Wow. It's snowing here in Tennessee. So you guys are super ready. Hello from Ohio, Patty. So you guys are super ready for spring? I would guess so. I keep forgetting that it's only March still, and I'm assuming that it's already time to break out summer, which patriotic stuff is coming next, guys. That's what everybody's doing right now. So I just wanted to throw this last kind of like transition from Easter into spring and summer because I want to be able to leave this out. I would, I would want this to be able to be left out for a long period of time, maybe even until you change your things up for Halloween. That's how I would want this particular thing to go. So these are all my greenery. This is old stuff, you guys. I've had this greenery. I may or may not use this. I've had this greenery for a while. I got this at Michael's. And uh, let me pan up just a little bit. I feel weird talking to you without seeing my face. Um, I had this stuff since I went to Michael's. And at Michael's, it's now all 60% off, guys. So go jump on that. It's kind of awesome. So let's throw that here. This is also just little tiny bushes. Now, again, guys, I may or may not use this, but um, I don't know how much greenery I'm going to want to place in here. I don't know how much room I'm going to have, but these are just little tiny bushes you can get at Michael's. Do you see that? $1.49. And I think I got this at 40% off, so I, I paid $0.71 cents for this guy. You know what I mean? These little tiny accents add a great amount of depth. And then this one bush here, do you see how thick that is? That's pretty thick for $1.49. And again, I paid $0.71 cents for it. So these are really good things to pick up 
not necessarily for everything, but just for little accents. Because, you know, the more you throw of these, if you bought like 10 of these, then you're looking at $7. And that's ridiculous. You know what I mean? Um, you're going to want to get a bigger bush if you need a lot. But this is just for little tiny, you know, peaks and pokes out of, of greenery. That's okay to buy these, in my opinion. That's what I do. So I grab these as a just in case. Same thing with these larger bushes. I think I might want something kind of wild and crazy, almost like, you know, fresh from the field picked looked. I'm not sure. I liked how kind of wild this is. I think this is a house plant. <laughs> I have to ask my mom. I think this is a house plant. I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of crazy and I liked it. And it was super, super bright green. Do you see? If you guys can see, this is super bright green. Um, same thing with this. It might give me the height I want, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, Facebook is responding. Oh, you guys, uh, wait. Let's just wait because Facebook is responding. Uh, turn off autofocus. Oh, crap. Yeah, wonderful. I don't know how to do that. Brand new phone, guys. Brand new phone. Okay, let's have a tech moment. One second. Let's see what I can do up here. I think I did. Nope. <laughs> oh, let's see. Jeez. Um, have seedlings growing in the house now. Cool, cool. PA got one foot of snow. Easter flowers have snow on them now. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh gosh, your Michaels was closed because of weather. Jeez. Trish, yeah, the autofocuses. Yep. That might just be my new phone. This new phone, I have a, I got a Note 8, a Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I had, my old one's a Note 4. That's how long it's been since I got a new phone, guys. And it really, really it pained me to buy a new phone because there's really nothing wrong with that phone. But I did it. So that might just be a focus because the cameras on this phone are supposed to be some sort of special. So I'm not sure if that's going to happen every time. That's kind of annoying, though. I know. Sorry. Oh, I mean, it's not that bad. Maybe just for the next time. All right. Well, we'll see. I changed, I changed, I turned something off, but it's just not working. I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh dear. No, that's not it. Okay. I'll have to get my tech husband to figure out that one the next time we go live, guys. That's kind of weird. Yeah. We'll see how, we'll see how bad that is for the whole video. Okay, guys, so here's the bucket. Look how cute this bucket is. This cute little bucket. Jeez, that autofocus is annoying, isn't it? Now that I'm, now I'm going to notice it every time it does it. This little bucket here I got at Hobby Lobby. Same time I got these eggs. I got three of them. I got two yellows and a cream color. So these eggs, normally a couple bucks. How much were they? They're normally $3.99. I got them for $2.39. And then this bucket was 40% off. Normally $7.99. I got it for $4.79. So I thought this bucket was super cute. You can see here where the handles hit it. I'm just going to leave the handle down there like that. And then I cut my own styrofoam off of that huge block I told you guys I bought at Joann's many moons ago. Um, I just cut this off myself because I'm not sure how much that would cost to go in by itself if you were to buy a preformed block. But it's probably going to be over 10 bucks. I got my entire huge piece uh, for $20, $21. And that was 60% off at Joann's. So unless I can find a better way to get styrofoam on the West Coast, that's just how it's going to have to be. I'm going to have to get that huge block and then cut everything down. So this is pretty thick, but I'm going to have a lot of space to push things down into it. So I'm a little happy about that. So this is the main event, the bucket. And then we're going to be putting these eggs in here like this. So my other options were to keep it more spring than summer. If I wanted it more Easter, I would use lilies. Now I brought my lilies, but I don't think I'm going to put those in there because this kind of is one of those Easter, Easter, Easter. Uh, but I might stick some daffodils in there, guys, because these are Hobby Lobby. This was Michael's. These are old leftover Michael's. You can see here it was on a project and it didn't work out, so I zip tied them together. This is what happens behind the scenes, guys. When you have something that you work into and it just doesn't work out, I pull them all. You can see here, too, there's still glue on them. I pull them all out of that project and I zip tie them together and they go back in my stash because that, ideal, that idea may not have worked out. I'm not going to call it a fail. 
I'm just going to call it a not right now. <laughs> That's what, how I'm going to do that. So these are old Michaels things, but I only picked them because there's just a tiny bit of light green and there will be some minty green just for a little bit of green. Now this stuff is all, let me see, daffodils were Michaels. I got a mixture of Michaels and Hobby Lobby here, guys, so it's going to be a little difficult to try to keep them straight. Just know if it wasn't Michaels and it was Hobby Lobby for the flowers. Basically, um, go with your gut and go with what you want for your own decor. I want to keep this because, I mean, they had these in different colors. They had them in blue and purple, and the green was a really dark green, so I didn't really like it. Um, but I chose the yellow and the cream color because they seemed more of a natural color for farmhouse. This is more Eastery, so I probably won't use this. This was Michael's. Cause see, like these two together kind of just scream Easter for me. <clears throat> I like them, but I'm probably not going to use them. And then basically everything else is just a mixture of yellow and white. So I've got some white little happy somethings. I don't know what they are, but I love them. I don't know. These, are, these aren't daisies. I just I don't know what they are, but I love them. And apparently I grabbed two bushes of those. Okay. And then I have this. I know this is freesia. This is light, light yellow freesia. This is Hobby Lobby also. This is also Hobby Lobby. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Got it 50% off. This is a larger bush, guys. So it's going to cost you a little bit in the beginning, but this can span over many, many projects. There's no way you're going to use all this in one project. So this was like $6.50 half off. So I can use this for many different projects. Um, and then this was a little bit of a leftover guy. Where's the tag? So this was Michael's. Yeah, this is a little bit of a leftover guy. I kind of like these weird long pieces that come out of it. It's got a little bit of green, yellow, and white in it. So those are just my options as far as flowers. I just grabbed a bunch of whites, yellows, and then I'll see if I even want to put these greens in there. I might not because, remember, we got all that greenery that we have over there. So I'm going to put my Easter's, my Easter options off to the side. And... Um, Let's see what we can do here with this. No, this keeps telling me that it's not working. We're going to use our glue skillet, if you can see right there, glue gun. Uh, various different things as far as uh, tools. I'm um, going to use my wire clippers, scissors, all that good stuff. Oh, oh, ribbon. I have to show you ribbon, guys, my ribbon options. I'm going with these two. This is an, a very old Michaels purchase from last year. This is a craft outlet purchase I just got recently, so this is still available. And then I'm going to do this, you guys. I got this at Hobby Lobby last year, and I have not used chicken wire ribbon on anything. And I thought if anything is more appropriate for farmhouse, it's eggs and chicken wire, right? So I'm going to attempt to put this in here, and we will see how it goes. Because if it looks horrible, I will take it out. But I want to put this in there somehow. I'll just hopefully, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate it, but I don't know if I'm going to make a bow out of it. I don't know if I'm going to just try and loop it around, but we'll see. I'm going to put that in there. And then I've got this wired burlap cord. I used this in a Christmas thing last year, but this is a fall item that I got at Hobby Lobby. You see there, it's a fall item. I got it for $3.59 instead of $5.99 when all their fall stuff was on sale. So this is a corded burlap, uh, wired corded burlap. And it, it's awesome. It looks really cute. I used it on a Christmas tree wall hanger. So that's those are my ribbon options. Finally got Facebook open on my iPad. Okay, Jeanette, so I'm not the only one. Facebook keeps telling me it's quitting over here on my on my tablet. Keeps telling me it's stopping. So maybe that's not me. You guys are all having issues too. Glad to see you back, Whitney. Missed you in the Northern Ireland. Hi, Kim. Thanks for, for uh, joining Northern Ireland. So nice. Love to see how you store your flowers. Jenny, I have a huge post somewhere. Go into the pictures of my page and you'll see my flower wall in my room. My husband put up some uh, some closets shelving in a diagonal with shoe rackets. Shoe brackets. Shoe rack brackets. Say that five times. Shoe rack brackets. <laughs> and I have like a huge flower wall in my room. My friends try to say that it's their happy place. They just come in there and look at it. And it does make me happy to look at it. And then... Then you see the price tag that goes with that wall. <laughs> Irene, you love the chicken wire. Okay, it's working for you. Also saw the chicken wire covered in moss. Oh yeah, Irene, I've seen that too, and I want to try that next. We'll see how this works out because I've had this, I've had this for, geez, probably six or eight months, and I haven't used it yet. It's in, it's intimidating because I don't know what is going to happen. So you guys, we will try and fail or try and succeed together. We'll see how it goes. All right. Okay, guys, so I'm going to get started. I'm just going to pan down so y'all can kind of see me in the mirror over there. didn't realize you could see me in that mirror. We'll see how it goes. And then um, we'll see just more of my workstation instead of me, okay? Here we go. 
So first things first, I'm going to secure my styrofoam into my bucket here. So let's see, all this stuff is all hot, ready to go. Oh, I got skewers. You guys know I like using chopsticks. Every time I tell somebody use chopsticks because you have them on, on, you know, you always have them in extras. I mean, I can't be the only person that gets extra chopsticks, guys. I mean, everybody likes Chinese food. You get chopsticks. I know people that don't even use it. Now, technically, I only use chopsticks when I eat sushi. When I'm eating the Chinese food, that, that goes in with a fork. <laughs> so I have lots of leftover chopsticks. Chopsticks and skewers are the same. So please don't post <laughs> that I can buy skewers. Chopsticks and skewers are the same. They're still food products. It, you know what I'm saying? Some people just like, why are you using chopsticks? I'm like, it's a piece of wood, guys. It's a piece of wood, which is also acceptable to put in your mouth. I'm going to use it in my crafts. And it was free. Now, I didn't go buy these. I found them actually in the back of my closet, in my, um, my pantry. And I was like, oh, I'm going to do a Facebook Live tomorrow. I'm going to grab those. And they are super sharp. You see how sharp these are? And again, they're so old, I don't even have the... I don't even have the tag that goes on them because like when I do kebabs and I barbecue and I grill I have metal skewers that I use for that because I don't like soaking these in, in water I'm too I'm too lazy to wait you guys I don't like waiting for them and I usually don't prep that far in advance I'll marinate meat and stuff but I don't prep the skewers I get lazy so it took me forever to get on then it froze and it turned off my iPad yeah all right guys sounds like Facebook wants to be a little bit of a problem today just remember I will have all of this up on YouTube okay so guys, go over to YouTube, help me out there, and uh, you'll see everything at YouTube, and then I'll have the steel pictures on at the end. So, first things first, I had to cut this off myself, which is why it looks super professional. You see that? That's beautiful, isn't it? So, um, I had to smooth out the bottom, that way I could get a more, it wouldn't really move around too much, and I want to get a better, um, I need to get a better secure, a better seal on the bottom of this. So all I'm going to do is grab another glue stick and then I'm just gonna load this guy up down here and you guys can probably hear that guy is sizzling but I'm getting a lot of glue on here because I want to get a good secure seal on the bottom of that and I'm gonna hold it down hot glue Seals really quick and you don't really have to worry too much about it, but I'm holding this down just because I don't want this to really move too much. We're not going to put a lot of weight into it. These things weigh absolutely nothing. They're, they're styrofoam inside there. So um, it's not like it's going to be crazy heavy. Um, and then with all of the flowers and greenery, we're going to kind of evenly disperse that around the front and the back. That way it's pretty from all angles. You don't have to really worry about seeing one side or the other. Let's see. Twist it up and pick it in. I'm not sure what you mean, Jackie. First time checking in with you. Welcome, Cindy. Thank you for joining. Um, the bucket, Jackie, I got at Hobby Lobby was originally $7.99. I got it for $4.79. Hobby Lobby's got all their summer stuff. All their cute buckets and baskets are 40% off. All right. I take them off of picks with Easter eggs and then use when I am gluing stuff to position items. Yeah, yeah, the skewers are a good thing to do. Um, that's why I say save the bottoms of your of your stuff. You won't really have to worry about that much. That's a really good seal there. Just making sure it's not moving too much. All right. So I'm going to put my eggs in first, guys. I'm going to count my eggs. And then I'll put them in the basket. I'm going to put my eggs in first, and I'm going to leave the ribbon on the bottom of them. I think probably by the time I'm done with all of this, the um, the ribbon might not show. So I don't think it's detrimental to a summer spring. If the ribbon is still pretty, it's not you know covered in buttons or anything. So spring and summer looks good. So you guys have seen me do this before, but this time I'll use skewers instead of chopsticks. I don't know how many I'm going to need because I'm going to put these in at different levels. So um, let's see here. I know for sure 
but I want two of them to be kind of on top of each other and I want this to kind of have some sort of different diagonal and height. I kind of want them to be like this, a little bit off and a little bit crooked. So, you know, sometimes look for imperfections. If you can see here, there's a little dent right there. And you can see this has like a little bit of weird spots. I'm going to use this kind of dented inside right here. And that's kind of where I'm going to place my skewer. So that's kind of further down in. So just find a spot and shove it in. That's really all you have to do. These are made out of styrofoam. You can kind of tell what they're made out of most of the time when you pick them up. Um, if they're hollow, then I would use the end of my glue gun to kind of burn a hole into it. Um, that's pretty much all I would do there. I'm going to put my skewer into my glue skillet over here. And then just pop that guy right down in to the hole I already made. And then we're going to need to clip this off because obviously, see here, I have a lot of styrofoam, right? That's okay, but it's too high. I want the base of my egg to sit on top of here. So I need to cut off at least, what is that, two and a half inches? See here, I'm kind of using my finger to measure. And then save this because we're going to use it again and see how this goes. Let me put this kind of back here on this side. There we go. Now for this one, you guys, you see how this one's sitting in here? I haven't glued it in all the way. I'm going to take the bow off of the end of it because I'm going to need a lot of this space here. I'm going to need it. So I'll look at their bows are put in. So you just, it's all experiment. I just pulled the bow out and it's got a little bit of wire on it and they just glued it in. You can save that and use that for another project or I might use it on this one. You never know. So the base of that, don't worry about that hole. We're going to cover that. You're going to see a lot of stuff uh, being used as far as, um, Greenery and flowers, you're not going to see the base of this egg. It's going to get covered up. So I just kind of get a good glob of glue on there. And I do like a little circular thing in my glue skillet to kind of cut down on uh, strings. And then place that back into the hole you already made. And then the glue that sticks up from there helps secure this egg down to it. So if you guys can kind of see underneath there. I don't know if I, the camera will catch it. There's a tiny bit of glue under there that you can see the egg is sticking to the styrofoam with. And then if here's the back of it, you can see the little hole, but all of this is going to be covered up with more, with more goodies. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do with the next one is I'm going to probably face it this, maybe this way or this way. I'm not sure. Let's put this one on first. This is the cream. I got two yellows and a cream. So I'm going to stack the cream one kind of a little off kilter, kind of like this. I want them to look a little weird, a little stacked and weird. So I know I said I was going to leave these on, but I'm going to pull this one off too. And that one kind of left a bigger hole. Don't worry about the hole because we're going to put, I also forgot to show you this guys. I got moss. I don't have moss because I usually don't like it. It's super, super messy, but we're going to need it in order to fill in the little gaps and holes around where these two eggs are coming together. We'll put some flowers there too, but I did buy some moss. I got it at Hobby Lobby. They have a section by their grapevine wreaths that has all kinds of moss and raffia. And I got this one. It was the bright lime green. There's a darker one and a brown one. And I felt that this one was more springy in summer. So I just got this bag of moss. And then I used my 40% off coupon because this was $6 by itself. <laughs> so I got it for $3.59. Kind of nice, guys. Kind of nice. And let's see. Melted glue and skillet. What's in the skillet? Oh, thank you for answering, Susan. Yeah. Let's see. Love watching you. I'm working on a wreath for my daughter. You are a big inspiration. Thank you, Tracy. That's so nice to hear. I know when I get blocked or when I get kind of kind of down or whatever and I feel like, you know, I'm not doing so well, all I have to do is just watch other people create and then it just makes me want to jump in here. It just makes me want to jump in. <laughs> She's Jackie said my boyfriend just asked me if we were chatting. LOL. I told him 
Yes, he says, you're always talking to her. She's crafty. <laughs> That's true. If I'm good at anything, I got this from my mother. I talk a lot. <laughs> and I talk a lot and I do it well. That's just part of life, isn't it? So I kind of want to stack this guy a little kind of off kilter. I don't know. Have, did you guys see um, Creator's Digest is a really good source. And oh, I lost it. I saw um, a lady, and I'm, I'm forgetting her page. I can post it again. Um, I think I already shared it on my page. It was the really big craft eggs, and she made a huge topiary out of them. That's where the inspiration came for this. I'm just doing a smaller tabletop design that will help, um, you know, on a smaller level. I would love to make that topiary and put it out front of the door, like make two of them. Had you guys see any of that? Let's see, Hidala watching you. It was um, it was huge Easter eggs, and she made a really big topiary out of them with like a doubt, like big dows. I'm talking about the biggest egg was this big. It was super cute. This is just a much smaller version of that. I'm also going to be putting a lot more. Um, I'm putting a lot more, uh, more, a lot more goodies into it. So I'm cutting this one off at a diagonal. Actually, I don't want to cut it off. I want to cut it off a little bit shorter because I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough room here. And hold your egg because this guy, you know, all this isn't exactly, it's not made of steel, but you want to give it a little bit of room here. And if that won't start on its own, use some sharp scissors. I have an awl. I bought an awl a while back. I'm going to start that hole right there with my awl. Do you see how sharp that is? You guys, this is an awl or an ice. If you have an ice pick, maybe that will work too. And let me see, let me get this started. And the glue that was already on the other one has now stuck. I mean, it was kind of tacky, but it's still there. So if you guys can see here, the glue in between there is sticking. And again, there's the hole it's going to show. Let me get the focus. You're not going to be able to see any of that once we're done. We're going to put moss and flowers and all that good stuff there. So there's one down. There's two down. I'm going to use the leftover of this stick. I think I'm going to put this guy like this. Let me see if I can. And I'm going to leave the bow on it to see how annoying that gets. If it gets really super annoying, then I'll just take it off. But all I'm doing is just sticking these, these right back in into the eggs. Put a little bit of glue on it. And if you got a lot of glue, if you get a good, a good amount of glue on there, you'll see. I mean, that might seem like a lot of glue, but I'm going to actually plush that back in there. There's the hole I made. Okay, and now I'm going to use all this glue that's already on there. Did I say I wanted it this way? Oh crap, you guys, I forgot. Did I want it this way? I'm going to stick this one towards the front this way, right down here. And then that glue is now touching the bottom of this guy here. Let me make sure. Yeah. yeah. See, that bow isn't really annoying me very much because of the way I placed it in here. So I'm just, I'm going to leave it the way it is. It's not too bad. Actually, this is a hanger. So it looks like they wanted you to hang them on as ornaments. So what I'm going to do is just diagonally cut it. And then I'll get two more tails out of it. There we go. Oh, they put a dovetail in it. Let me dovetail it, see how that goes. Oh, even better. I'll show you guys on one of the bows I already took off a little bit more close up. So here's the bow that I took out of the other one, right? So my let's presume my hand's the egg, right? So that's what was stuck into the egg. They've got two tails. Here's a tail, and here's a tail. I'll tuck them in. Then you've got your two loops of your bow here and here. But they also have a hanger. They wanted you to use this. See this piece here? They wanted you to use this as an ornament. So all I did was cut this piece right through the middle, and then I dovetailed the two, and then turned it into a couple more tails. Hope that made sense to you guys. Oh, 
Let's see. I saw the giant topiary. It was gorgeous. Okay, good, Lydia. That's what I was talking about. This is like more of a smaller version of it. Chloe's Decorate and Celebrate. Is that the one who did it? I shared it on my page, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they were big, but it was so cute. Celebrate and Decorate. So yes, that was them. That was her. Okay. Hobby Lobby. Got the exit Hoggy Loggy. Uh, oh, thank you, Christy, for answering that. Point it to the left. Point what? The camera to the left? Oops. Did you guys see more of my space? Um, oh, from Hungary. Welcome, Nora. Thank you for joining. Uh, yeah, Lita, it's a good size for the home. That's my idea. This would be cute for on the, you know, basically on your table. This is basically the, 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 the meat and potatoes of it. So we got two eggs, we got three eggs and a bucket. What do you think? Three eggs and a bucket. Now I'm going to start, I don't, you know what guys, I needed to put some of these little eggs in that I got, but I don't necessarily want to put them in. I don't know where to go next. I, I think maybe I will do some flowers first. Because now we need to make sure we got this thing looking smart from every side. This, you know, it's going to be a centerpiece. So we want it to kind of look good from most sides. I'm going to save this because this is also a good tool for mixing or holding. Um, and it's obviously didn't need all of these that I pulled out. I only needed two. So there you go. Food, food skewers. The same as chopsticks. You just cut them at a diagonal. Which I had to cut a couple of those at a diagonal too. So... Just cut them off at a diagonal, they work okay. So I'm going to save that off to the side. And I think, I am going to do, daffodils aren't necessarily, I mean, they are pretty much spring. They're not necessarily Easter. I might put a few daffodils in here. I think they look cute. Um, but I'm sure, I sure definitely want to do the tall stuff kind of first. Um, let's just start cutting stuff off, guys, and placing it and seeing how it goes. Um, remember, you guys, I have that issue where I love, 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 love flowers. So I tend to, um, I tend to, uh, go overboard, but I mean, I guess it can't be really called overboard in my opinion, since I love them so much. So if it's something that you enjoy, then it really can't be called overboard, right? So I cut three freesia. I got three little yellow freesia here. I'll place those throughout. Um, definitely, I don't know if I'm going to use the green. There's see, Now that I have them in here, I don't really have as much space as I thought I had. I thought I was going to have so much extra space that I won't be able to really fill anything in. But even if on the sides here, you guys, I don't want to really overload so much that you can't see the eggs. So, let me cut the tag off the bucket. So let's see. Snowing and cold second day of spring. Uh, the second day of spring, yeah. <laughs> I can already tell this is going to be really cute. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, I'm so glad I thought I missed it. Patricia, don't worry about it. Always remember, if you miss my live, you can watch the replay on YouTube with pictures. I always put pictures at the end of the YouTube videos. So if you're watching the playback on YouTube right now, stay tuned. There's pictures at the end. Um, and um, YouTube helps me out, you guys. It, it's, it's a very small amount, but it helps even just a little bit. So if you guys watch me on YouTube, I get a little bit of ad revenue and it really helps me continue to buy supplies, which is what that, uh, it's what my new paid tutorials are, are going to help me do. I need to be able to at least keep buying supplies so I can keep doing these things for you guys. And then I also still am going to that, that, I mean, I'm super excited to get to Wreath Makers Live in June. And I've mentioned before, guys, that's a $1,200 trip for me. I'm coming from Las Vegas to go to Texas, and then i got to stay in a hotel and all that good stuff. And it's three days long, so I'm really working hard to get some things in place so I can get there and have a great time and then come back with all kinds of great stuff and more ideas and more ways to implement things and get things put together. It'll be fun. I'm just placing, like... I'm, I'm just cutting off some things, you guys. I kind of like to work, I don't like to work all at one way. I like to kind of just, especially with arrangements, I just like to stick things in and see how I like them. If I don't like them, then I just take them right back out. That's why a lot of times it's easier to not glue it in first. Um, but if I'm absolutely happy with something, I'll commit and I'll glue it in immediately. There's no rhyme or reason or, or right or wrong way. 
in my opinion, at least what I've developed is just the flowers kind of just, they start to just tell you where they want to go. Is that, I mean, without sounding strange, like the flowers speak to me. <laughs> they just, you know, they just kind of tell me where they want to go. I just love them. So this guy's, I'm going to show you real quick. This type of bush is kind of papery. Do you see how it's made here? This is kind of super papery. All I'm going to do on this one, now see this piece here? I'm not going to put this entire piece in an arrangement. That's kind of big. So all I'm going to do is literally just pull it off. Okay, maybe I won't. Normally you can pull this paper stuff right out. And because I'm live, eh, all right. So you guys, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut this off right here at the end. <laughs> and now, fingers crossed, now you should be able to pull these little individual pieces off from the paper. Yeah, that's what was supposed to happen the first time, guys. <laughs> so now you can pull these out individually. And if they start to fray too much, um, you can use, which I'm going to have to, it looks like. You can either hurry up and put a steel pick on the end, or you could put some floral tape on that. If they're strong enough, I, I wouldn't use a steel pick because that's just um, not really cost effective and it's a waste of your steel pick because this piece right here is strong enough to push into the styrofoam. And this piece, eh, yeah, this piece is strong enough as well. It's just, it's not falling apart. So I'll just get some glue on it in enough time. And that's pretty much really good height. You can see here, if I pull them apart, like this guy right back here would probably come up maybe like that. That's good height that you want, or I would want. I want some height to it, but I don't want it to be like crazy, too, too crazy high. Does that make sense? First time watching. Thank you, Lydia from Orchid Park, New York. Oh, Bobby, you're making the hydrangea door hanger. That's good. Very nice to see you again. Oh, Kara, the cutters. These I just got at Michael's. I'll show you real quick. Whoops. Oh, I got two pairs because I super, super love them. This is what they look like. And yes, it's backwards. Facebook switches it. Um, they're Westcott brand compound action cutter. I, what I like about them is that they're spring loaded. When you get cutters at the hardware store, you see that? They don't open on their own. I like the spring loaded kind. And then it has a little, it has a little lock on it, but they're super, they're, they're pretty good heavy duty. Um, and I just got them at Michael's maybe two, three weeks ago. And then these are my old cutters. You see this little piece here in the middle? This piece right here? That's what keeps them spring loaded. So they'll open back up for me. Um, some of those industrial ones, if you go and you get electrician cutters, they won't open for you. And I had carpal tunnel back in the day, had surgeries for it, but I need the stuff to spring load. I need it to open for me. So that's how I do it. I actually need a piece of tissue so I don't get this oil on my shirt. Got to keep your stuff oiled. Three in one oils, it helps. All right, I got a good amount of stuff cut here. I think I'm going to use these guys here. I have a mixture of two different colors, like bright lime green and another green. And these are the extra little greenery pieces I got at Michael's for, um, actually I got them for 71 cents. So I got these for 40% off. So I'm just going to cut these up and then you guys, I'm going to start placing some stuff in here, get the greenery in, and then you'll see how I'm going to use some of these pieces to cover up some of the stuff we don't want to see, maybe around here that you can see a lot of glue in here right now. And then I'll show you how we're just going to kind of glue stuff around it and some flowers. Let me see what we got going on here. First time watching from Baltimore, Maryland. Looks pretty already. Thank you, Dora. Christine, glad I caught some of your live. Hi, thanks. Welcome. So glad you're here. Hi, Trisha. Hi from Queensland, Aussie. Oh, from Australia. Thank you, Sharon. Um, oh, Johnette, you watch YouTube on your big screen. Yeah, I do the same thing. I, I have um, I have two YouTube's account. I have a personal one, and then I have my business one. So my personal one, yeah, I, I always cast it to my TV and my big screen. It's a lot better. Um, hopefully with this new phone, you guys will see uh, better quality on, on Facebook. Um, I know Facebook kind of 
pulls down the quality because the files are very very big but I got a new phone so we'll see if Facebook still pulls it down because I've seen some Facebook lives that look pretty clear but I got a brand new phone so there's no excuse for that to happen anymore right better not at least <laughs> not for how much I paid for that phone alright guys this one's a little bit of an irritating mess there we go so guys, I know I don't need, and I know I don't need that much because that's just kind of overboard. So I'm just going to, I'm cutting about an inch off of all of these and I'm going to go ahead and commit to using all six of them. And then we'll see if we even need to add that larger greenery bushes I had. And this also kind of gets rid of some of your stash. If you have like a big stash of greens and stuff like that, which I do because I consistently buy too much. I, something about greenery, I can't say no to it. Um. I'm going to fill in a lot of the bottom down here, and I'm going to hope that it doesn't get too big. So let me just kind of place this in here like this, and we'll see if I can get it to kind of go down in a way. A lot of times what I do is I'll buy a lot of flowers. Like I have this huge pile of flowers down here, guys, you just can't see. And what happens is I don't use them because I kind of thought I'd need more than I really did. So that's where a lot of the um, stash buster ideas come from. If you have lots of leftovers, just start shopping, shopping your leftovers like you would be shopping at um, the craft store. So look at all your leftovers and start to put like things together and start to look at different ideas. Or maybe you bought a new sign or you found something online that you want to make. Take a peek at all of your leftovers because, I mean, I can't be the only one that buys way too many. I have so much greenery. And then, of course, every time I go and they're having a sale, I'm like, oh, I could use two more of those. I could use three more of those. Yeah, no, Whitney, you can't. Stop it. And like this one, I didn't even make the hole for it first. I'm just going to go ahead. Because I'm liking what's happening back here. I'm just placing those in. So I'm kind of just going to go on, go on a whim. And just place those under there. That's just, I'm liking what's happening. I'm just going to place this guy right down here in the middle. And I can't push it in all the way, so I'm going to use my clippers and kind of just press harder to get it to go all the way in. So what I did was I used the clippers closed and I pushed the piece of the stem all the way in like that. Because I couldn't reach right here in the middle. So I just placed it in there and I pushed it harder. You see here like this, I placed the top of it and I pushed it in further like that. That's a good way to get stuff kind of to go left, right, up, down, in between. So you get kind of just like a little bit of a starter here. It's a little sporadic, it's a little piecey, but that's, that's how everything starts out, guys. That's how it's supposed to look. Let's see. And some of these, I have to say, I might actually turn into separate picks. Yeah, these are going to be, I think these are going to be a little bit too tall. I'll leave the freesia pretty high because that's a classic freesia. I'm not going to cut the freesia up. Let's just stick some in and see how it goes. Now this is bending a, good, a decent amount, so let me see if I can get it in without it causing too much of an issue. These little plastic grasses... Hopefully, let me see if you can, I'm pretty sure you can bend them with your fingernails. Yeah, you can curl them a little bit. I don't know if I'm wild about that. Let me see. Hmm. Kind of not feeling it. Let me see here if I can get this in. side. It's going to take a little bit of finesse on this guy. I might have to put a steel pick on it because it's causing some issues. All right, I got it in the side. I got it where I want it, but it's not. It's kind of, you see how I pushed it in on the side here and I want it like this, but it keeps falling. 
I have to figure that out. It's not making me happy. I'm going to put a steel pick on it, guys. And I have a steel pick machine over here if you guys aren't familiar with a steel pick machine. Most of you guys are, but you never know. This is a steel pick machine. This guy is not light. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. So you use your lever here to advance a steel pick here. Place your stem down here. In fact, I'm going to cut mine a little bit shorter. Place your stem here and then you push back on the handle and then I like to hold the top of this here and push harder with my hand. You pull that out and that's what that looks like. That's a steel pick machine guys. So I'm going to keep it off to the side so it's not in our view or, or obstructing stuff if I need to use it again. Um, otherwise, if you guys aren't familiar with what you do instead of a steel pick, it's these guys. You buy these little wooden picks, you would place your pick on here, and then you use this wire to wrap around it. I would use floral tape because this wire never really worked for me. That's basically the difference between what you do. And I'll be using that for the bow and for the ribbon, which I'm thinking now that this, the ribbon I picked out, this big ribbon, I might not use that big ribbon. I'm probably just going to use the yellow ribbon. That's kind of better. That's kind of what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and glue it in. And then I'm going to take my daffodils. I'm going to cut my daffodil a lot shorter. And I'm going to see how I can just hide the base of this. And maybe I need to put some more greenery in. I'm not sure. Let me see something. I'm wondering if I've got the wrong space, stuff in the wrong space here. Just kind of want to see. You see that, you guys? I have daffodils right here. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. Something about it's just not like... I don't know. We'll see. Maybe sometimes, you know, it, that's how things work out. You're not really warming up to your own piece in the beginning. But I'm going to start filling in. I've got more daffodils. I've got more greenery. This guy here. This guy went in okay, but I'm going to definitely put a steel pick on it. didn't go in as, as much as I'd like it to. So I'm going to do a steel pick off to the side. One second, guys. So that's what I did to the end of that one right here. That's for this long guy here. I'm going to place him back in the middle. And I went with a smaller bucket. At first I had a much larger bucket and I something about it, I just didn't want something so big. And now I'm seeing that this is actually pretty cool because I'm not gonna need as many flowers and florals as I thought I was gonna need. I'm not going to be, technically, I mean necessarily, I'm not gonna be running out of space, definitely for sure. Now this guy I'm gonna kind of curve a little bit. There's a lot of wire in here. Um, Andrea, yes, thank you for for answering that. Sorry, guys, sometimes I just can't keep up with the with the comments. I try to watch a live, but I always catch you on YouTube. Okay, there we go. First time from Sweden. Thank you, Tina. Welcome. So very happy. Thank you for, for joining. And let me push this here. Kind of curve it some more. Yeah. Um... I really try, you guys. You know, a lot of times people say I don't, I don't follow the comments enough, but I really try. Sometimes I just want to create, and then sometimes I want to chat with you guys, and then sometimes I worry about timing, and then sometimes I worry about <laughs> getting everyone's questions answered. I mean, a lot of you guys are really helping each other out. I appreciate that. If you guys, I can't answer a question and you get to it, thank you so much for that. I appreciate it. First time watching from Kuwait. Thank you. Join um, Josephine. Welcome, welcome. 
and Annis, Annis Price, thank you, welcome, from Virginia. Um, this is very, very clear. Perfect. I'm so happy, Jackie. Thank you. I'm glad I'm watching and always wanted to know how you do this. Okay, good. Thank you, Melody. Um, Becky, I use ad tech. I got a big box off of Amazon and Andrea answered me. Thank you, Andrea. That's so nice. Love how it looks so far. Elizabeth, the big eggs come from Hobby Lobby. You guys are so helpful. That's good. That's good. Um, she's dipping them into glue. Oh, it's a rosy. It's a glue skillet. Um, Lots of people post a lot of goodies on where to find them. I got mine on Amazon, but Amazon has more than doubled the price now because people are buying them like crazy. Um, some people have said you can get them from camping websites. Some people have told me they got theirs at Walmart, like a little seven inch skillet. Hi, first time from Sumter, South Carolina. Welcome, Jane. Thank you. And hello, Kathy and Janelle. Uh, first time from Greenville, South Carolina. Welcome, Vicki. And Peggy from Houston, Texas. And Sandy, uh, yeah, Sandy from Nebraska. All right, guys, so... I'm going to try to keep up with the comments some more. I'll stop and take a peek at them. And all I'm doing is kind of piecing things together. Let's try another freesia. Let's go. I'm going to curve it a little bit right here. See, the, the balance is not covering up the eggs too much. I mean, I have a lot of height here, so I have a little bit more to work with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this guy, this freesia, I'm going to cut them down pretty short. I'm going to cut them down probably about that short. And I want to use it right here. On the back. And one of the flowers came off. Thank you, Hobby Lobby. When the flowers pop off, guys, I just kind of take the piece that it popped off on and I stick it into the end of my glue gun. And that puts just enough glue on it. To where you can just pop the the flower right back on because obviously if that gate if that gate came off once it's going to come off again that's just the nature of artificial flowers um you know we buy stuff made in china guys it's that's life that's just how it is <laughs> if we had the real thing it would die after you cut it so a lot of this stuff isn't made to be you know rough housed and picked up and moved and all that stuff. So that's, I added the second freesia back here on the back. Remember, I don't want to cover too much of it up, so I'm probably not going to be putting... I'm going to cut these into different picks. I'll show you guys how I do that. Because I definitely want these white flowers in there. And then maybe for this one on the front... I'm maybe going to have this one come off to the left a little bit. Let's see. Normally, you guys, I pull the greenery on these, and I pull this, and I push them up. So I'm taking the greenery, and I'm pushing it up. Kyle, no worries at all. You're doing us a favor by teaching us. Christy, you got to do that all the time with your flowers. Yep, they fall apart. You got to glue them back on. Obviously, we us Texas girls love Whitney. Andrea Brown, just outside of Austin. Nice. <laughs> I got Texas fans. Well, I'm coming to Texas, guys. First time ever. I'll be in Texas in June. And everyone says I'm going to fall in love with it because Texas is uh, friendly. Everyone's got that. What do you look not um, not just Texas, but what do you call that southern southern hospitality? But people say you'll fall in love with Texas. So I'm on my way out there, you guys. Let me see. Do I want that there? That might hide too much. I definitely want a freesia in the front. So I'm going to push, I'm basically pushing all the leaves up as far as it'll go. There you go. Kind of got a little spot there. All right. Can you guys, are we still connected? Watching from Massachusetts, Janelle from Montville, Texas, Texas. Hey, you're from Nebraska. Good luck. Okay. Just making sure my phone went out. So I think I had a phone call. We're all on. We're all still on. Perfect. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So let me push this guy down here in the middle. All right. I'm going to leave that guy there. I like him in the front. It's a little tall and I like it. See here, there's the freesia in the front. 
I'm going to take these guys and I'm using my fingernail to kind of curl them. I, I do this with curling ribbon on Christmas for packages. I got taking this and I'm kind of curling it a little bit. I don't know. That probably doesn't occur in real freesia, but it's going to occur in my fake freesia because <laughs> that's what I want. And this, this leaf has some wire in it, so I'm going to kind of curl it a little bit. Off to the side. All right, so let's see what we can do with this guy here. Okay, so here you guys, I'm going to go forward with the with these guys that I cut off of a bush, and then these little white white flowers here I cut off of a bush. Um, what I'm thinking is I need to put my bow in. I think I'm going to put my bow closer down here, but I don't want it to be huge, so I'm a little worried about the space I have. So instead of using the, I'm going to do the bow, yeah. I have to do the bow or I'm going to run out of space because I can't, I can't add these flowers if I don't know where I'm putting that bow. All right, guys, sidetrack. I originally had chose this for my ribbon. I'm looking at the amount of space I have here. I want my bow down here and I don't want it to be so intrusive that you're going to, it's going to cover up this whole egg, right? So we still have more little tiny things we're going to place here because we need to cover up that hole and we need to cover up all the glue that you can see under here, right? But I'm going to put my bow right here. And then I also might put like a loop or two in the back, but we'll see. <clears throat> so I'm going to omit the two and a half inch ribbon. That's going to be too big for this project. If you had a bigger bucket, yes. But now that I'm looking at this, I'm going to only use the, the yellow and white stripe ribbon. And then I'm going to put some of this in here. And again, guys, I haven't used this before, so we'll see how this turns out. And this yellow and white stripe ribbon I got from um, Craft Outlet. CraftOutlet.com. I used it for my little wreath class I did with my friends um, on that summer, summer wreath. It turned out super cute. So what I'm doing for this is I got separate um, ribbon scissors. You're going to dovetail, and a dovetail is take your ribbon, fold it in half, and from the folded edge, you're going to cut diagonally up to your wired edge. And then once you're done and it opens up, that's a dovetail. Or a chevron, I call it a dovetail. So you're going to dovetail your ribbon. Almost forgot. Whew. You need pipe cleaners or chenille stems, or floral wire, or whatever you use. I'm going to put a steel pick on the end of mine to put into the project. And you'll start to see how much um, it fills up. The ribbon will fill up the space you think you, you, you have a lot of. It Trust me, it's going to fill it up, which is why I want to do the ribbon right now. So, Karen, it will be for sale on my Etsy on my Etsy page, and I'm doing an overhaul of my Etsy. So if you guys haven't if you guys have been on my Etsy and things have seemed a little bit weird, or prices a little bit too high, or prices a little bit too low, you guys, I'm doing an overhaul of my Etsy. I've got some help and some coaching on Etsy, and I'm going to get things taken care of. And this will be for sale on Etsy. And if anybody wants another one, as long as I can get more eggs at Hobby Lobby, I'll make them for you. Looks good. Go with the chick wire. Yep. Uh, Newfoundland, Canada. Thank you, Michelle. All right, guys. So the start of the ribbon of the bow. It's not truly, I mean, it's technically, yes, it's going to be a bow, but it's going to be very simple, very low key. I don't want the bow to be the main event. I want the eggs to be. So I'm just going to do literally um, two loops. You know, I'll do three loops. I'm going to do three loops. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to pretend maybe I want my first tail to come about right there. Let's see, because I'm going to place it in here. That's, that's, that looks good for me. So I'm going to pinch it here. And that's basically how I judge it. If I know I'm going to put a steel pick on here or a pick and I'm going to place it in the styrofoam, I'm putting my hands on the styrofoam and seeing how far out it comes. That's how long I want that tail. And then here I'm just taking a guesstimate, an estimated guess, a guesstimate of how big I want the loop. I'm going to place that in there too. And that looks like a good size loop for where I'm doing. So then I pinch it and you're going to take your ribbon and twist it so that the front of the ribbon faces you. Because see, this is only one sided ribbon. The stripes are on this side, right? So now I've twisted it. The ribbon's facing me. I'm going to do the same thing and guesstimate. These two kind of match. 
pinch it again, twist it, make it a third loop. It's about the same size. Pinch it, twist that ribbon to face me, and then there's my last tail. I'm going to have this one to be a little bit longer, and I'm just going to cut it off right here. Whether that's longer or not, we won't know, but we'll figure it out. So here, since I'm still holding the bow, I'm going to put the pipe cleaner around the middle of that, and then just twist just twist like there's no tomorrow on the back. So here I'm holding it. I like to pull the bow forward and then twist my pipe cleaners this way. That's how I basically do most of my ribbons. Hi from I love it. Will you share this for sale? How did you how did your first wreath class go? Christine, it went great. My friends said that it was really informative, that I taught them well. And you know, I've also learned myself that I take a lot of crafting for granted. I take a lot that I already know other people don't know. So, I mean, just the ruffle technique on the mesh, my friends are like, oh, Whitney, we think, you know, you might be used to doing it. It's not as easy as you as you say it is. And, and then I had to, to step back and say, oh, my gosh, you're right. You know, not everybody knows how to do this stuff, you know. Again, I remember back when I started out and I was looking for help and I was looking for people to help teach me. You know, YouTube didn't exist back in the day and... Facebook Live sure sure didn't exist. Um, I had to go to different avenues to find different ways to teach or to, to learn from other teachers, mostly my grandma. Um, and this is back in the 80s, you guys, when I was a kid. Um, and then stuff got more popular and things got easier to find and then you could buy books and stuff like that. But yeah, I, I learned I did take a lot of my crafting for granted that my friends don't, my friends can't easily do things if they're not crafty like I am. And it's kind of it's kind of fun to see someone discovering how much fun and how easy it is when someone actually has never crafted before. It was really super rewarding. And then also I learned a little bit about myself too. Hmm. How would you ship it so it doesn't get crushed? Oh, Kathleen, that's easy. We gotta find a box it fits in. And then what I do is I wrap the piece itself in bubble wrap and then I'll put packing paper around it, which is just like brown paper or regular newspaper, those types of things around it. Um, as long as you got your piece secure, it, nothing will really bad happen. I used to say like all the shipping companies play soccer with your packages. Um, but the things that I've shipped to people, they've all let me know that everything's gotten to them uh, without a ribbon out of place. So it's kind of good. Olive, hello. Love the yellow. Good, good. Love to watch you create as you go. Thank you, Shelly. That's pretty much what I do all the time. <laughs> oh, and you're not late. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, girl. Explain what you're doing. We appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome, Joanne. That's what I'm here for. I'm the same way. My friends can't do what I do and take for granted. I know it's it's weird to see. It's like, oh, you guys. Oh, that's right. Okay. These are scissors. No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's not that bad, but it's like, I like to joke. I give, I'm very sarcastic. You guys should know that by now. And I love to give my friends a hard time. So it was really super fun. You're like, okay, guys, these are scissors. Don't run with them. <laughs> All right, guys, what I'm doing here is since I finished the bow, I'm going to put a steel pick on the end of this, okay? Now, if you don't have a steel pick machine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk you through it, but I'm not going to actually do it. What I do with this piece is I would then hot glue this piece right back here like that. You want to glue the tip of this to the apex of the bow, right? And then after it's glued, I would then wrap this, uh, st this pipe cleaner around here. And then wrap your, you know, you can still use this. To me, I think this wire is pointless. It never holds anything on. You can then wrap it around, and I put a little bit of hot, a little bit more hot glue on there. Wait for the hot glue to dry. Cut your stick off to the length you want it, and then use that. That's what I did for ages before I got my steel pick machine for Christmas. So now, what I'm going to do here is place this in the steel pick machine as though this was the stem of a flower. And I'll show you real quick. That's what you get. You've now turned your, your bow into a pick. And actually, sorry guys, that didn't take all the way. Take two. Ignore that. No one saw it. 
hold that down better, wrap them all around. There, all four got around. There we go. Sometimes it's perfect, sometimes it's not. That's the beauty of going live. There we go. Now all four little all four little teeth have gotten around it here and here. So that has now become a pick. And you guys know me, I'm definitely going to be putting flowers and all kinds of stuff in here. So next I'm going to try it with this thing and we'll see how that works because you guys, you're with me here. Help me because I have no idea what I'm doing with that chicken wire. kind of cute that's kind of cute I'm going to push this kind of this way I'm manipulating the bow to get the other tail to come to the front since I only did three loops the tails aren't exactly even so I mean you could leave it going up but I think I want mine coming down you know what no I'm gonna leave it up and then if I want it down I'll change it after it's glued in so right now I got to put a bunch of glue on my steel pick and then put that guy back into the arrangement where I made the hole. And push it way down in there. Don't worry about smushing it. That's going to happen while we're making it. It's going it's just part of that's just part of the 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 course. It's going to happen. Do not worry about it. And I'm going to wait for that to dry before I tug on it. And I'm going to make another little one for the back, just two loops. Remember, guys, I want interest to be around the whole thing. It needs to be pretty from all areas, just in case you walk up to it from a different angle. If you put it on, a, if you put it on your dinner table and you make it as a centerpiece, then you, you know, you're going to want it to be, um, you know, cute and viewable from every angle. So I'm just going to make another one real quick, just a little short one. Just two loops and a twist and then I already have pipe cleaner cut in half so this one's just a little shorter so this one I won't really have too much to worry about as far as um, cutting any extra off I mean I'll have probably a little bit extra but I'm just gonna make this one for the back uh, Wait, let's see and I don't use floral picks. I use extra stems of the flowers and glue them to the stem or my wire on my bows and then use floral tape to additionally secure it. Christy, that's a very good cost-effective way. If you don't want to buy the floral picks, the floral tape is actually very inexpensive. That's a very good idea, Christy. Thank you for sharing that with all of us. Um, love that. Love that with you, Whitney. You make it fun to watch. Good, Kim. Thank you so much. Francis Rios, first time I am here and love it. Well, welcome, Francis. I'm very happy to have you. I'm going to cut this off. I do have it a little bit extra, but that's okay. So I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to put this in my steel pick. Oh, it, will come. it will come to you. The chicken wire, that is, as you always do, awesome designs. Okay, thank you, Irina, because the chicken wire is making me, um, uh, chicken wire is making me nervous. <laughs> I always get nervous before my lives, and then when I get on here, I realize there's nothing to be worried about. You guys always make me feel so wonderful and welcome. So I, I feel like I'm crafting with a bunch of buddies. It'd be really cool just to have everybody in here, and we just all talk and laugh and giggle and, dare I say, BS. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to place this little double one back here in the back. Just a little bit of ribbon. It's like a spoonful of sugar. There's a little bit of ribbon makes everything better. So that's what I'm doing there. And actually I'm seeing now that it's covering up enough of the extra space I thought I needed that I won't have to use as many flowers. And you guys, this whole roll of ribbon from Craft Outlet was $3.50. And it's 10 yards. I got 30 feet of that stuff for $3.50. That's a crazy good deal. I know a lot of times it's like, it's hard to say, oh, I only want to buy my, my, I only want to buy my goodies online, but at the same time, you can't help it because of 30, 30 feet, this 30 feet, I mean, I like to judge it by opening it up this way and looking. I used it for that whole wreath and I still have a lot left in there. 30 feet of this for $3.50 is a crazy good deal. I'm just excited. And it's a really good thick ribbon. Do you see, if you guys can see here, 
It's not focusing on the ribbon. Come on. That's a really good thick ribbon. It's almost like a thicker canvas ribbon. It's really nice. I get distracted by things. Pretty shiny things. Flowers and ribbons. Pretty much the eggs in the farmhouse. And see, I got extra eggs here, guys. I can't forget that I have extra eggs. I got all this stuff I still want to add. I'm going to get it in. I'm going to get it in. Just you wait. So there's this little guy for the back. It doesn't really look like a bow. It kind of just looks like a... You know what? I don't care. It looks like a loop with a couple tails, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. I like to kind of put a little wrinkle on this guy right here. And that's going to get messed with. That's fine. That's just how that is. So let's go back to the front. And dun, dun, dun. All right, guys. Let's do this. First, I need to see how they... I also don't want to poke myself too many times. We'll see how it goes. So here is the chicken wire. Chicken wire ribbon. All right, guys. Let me see how to do this. See, I think it looks naturally, doesn't that just look cute the way it just kind of twirls and curls like that? Actually, I think I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. It just came to me. <laughs> I'm not even going to make it into a bow. Man, that was easy. I just have to find a way to secure it. I think I know exactly what I'm going to do. Give me a minute, guys. I'm going to squish all this. I'm just going to tell you what I'm doing. I haven't tried this before. If it doesn't work out, we'll redo it. But I'm going to squish this here with my fingers, and I'm going to put a steel pick on the end of it. So we're going to see if metal and metal works. Otherwise, I'll probably wrap it uh, with ugh, floral tape. But there we go. I put a steel pick on the end of it, and I'm going to leave it corded, curled like this. I'm going to shove that right back here like this. Now, remember, I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just going to kind of leave it that way. And here, you guys, we'll talk, we'll talk it through together. I'm going to leave this kind of like a little swirl-looking thing. I'm going to face it towards me, guys. Let the ideas run. Let the ideas run rampant. Let's see how this works. All right. So I'm going to end it off, and let's just see what happens. None of this is glued in, and of course, none of it's permanent. So I'm just using my wire clippers to clip it off right here. And then i got to take it out back here. It's a good thing I didn't glue it. And I'm smushing this all together. And I'm going to put another steel pick on this end. <clears throat> I'm going to show you one sec what I have. Because I want it to come up a little bit, but I don't know if I can get it to the top of the egg without it looking a little ridiculous. So basically I made a chicken wire rainbow. Two steel picks and a rainbow. Let's see how this turns out. Now see, this stuff's a little bit more delicate, so it will get bent um, if we press, it, you know, press on it or push on it or, or whatever. Kind of digging that a little bit, you guys. What do you think? You see how it just comes over from the side to the front? Chicken wire and eggs. Yeah, this is cute. Oh, I got some hearts. You guys like it. Okay. Keep losing you. Susan, I know I'm having like weird Facebook issues. It says that Facebook keeps stopping, but um, it's not cutting out on my phone. I'm hoping that the playback is okay. 
Let's see, chicken wire with eggs, great idea. Yeah, that's good. All right, good. Good project, but your voice gets too low at times and it's hard to hear what you're doing. Oh, sorry about that, Londa. Probably not facing the mic. I believe that the mic on this new phone is in a different spot. I think it might be down here. First new live with the first new phone, or sorry, first live with my new phone, guys. We'll, we'll get through it. We'll figure things out. I can still do lives on my old phone. It's just not nice. I don't know. We'll see how the quality comes out, if it makes a difference, if it changes it at all. All right, so I'm going to pick this one back up in the same spot. But I'm going to let this curl around a little bit. There's going to be a way that I can secure that to the egg. I think I'm going to do that. That's good. This is super cute. I'm like excited about this already. I know you guys, I didn't really use it like a bow. I didn't turn it into a bow. And I can get some of this stuff to stick through the chicken wire. see how I can secure this on the back. I'm going to be gluing stuff here so I could possibly glue it there. Okay, because we're going to glue stuff right down in here, right here guys. We're gluing stuff to hide that. We still have moss and things to put in there. And I can secure this piece to the egg belt right here, probably with um, some hot glue or some wire or something I can come up with. So that's how I'm going to finish that piece off. All right. So I'm just going to pinch it and then I'm pinching the wire and I'm going to cut it again with my tool here. With my, uh, with my tool, with my cutters. With my wire cutters. Okay, and I'm going to have to take it out to uh, get it glued in. So it's just a squirrel, just a squiggle like that. And then I'll show you how I placed it in. Uh, Rhonda, I got the chicken wire at Hobby Lobby. Let's see. Oh, Irina, thank you for that. You girls, you guys are on top of it. Thank you so much. Um, Christy, you're also having problems hearing you? Oh, but Nancy can hear fine. Okay, okay, so it's going to be a little bit different for everyone. I'm on the new S9 and everything loud and clear here. Okay, perfect, Kim, that's good, that's good. Love the chicken wire, no problem hearing. Do You do get the award for creativity. Thank you, Pat. <laughs> Thank you, it's so nice. Chicken wire, okay, I saw the chicken wire ribbon, so dang cute, what are you doing? Well, well, Trish, we are just basically putting picks on the end of it, and I'm wrapping it around these eggs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this first one in, you guys, so I'll show you a little bit closer. I have it starting in the back right here. You can kind of see the chicken wire, and then it's going over the front. So it's kind of like just a little chicken wire rainbow. And I haven't glued it in, so I'm going to glue it in now. It's a little chicken wire rainbow. That's what we have. So i got to put glue on this first end and the second end. And then the second end, I'm going to have to use my glue gun, you guys. That's just part of the part of the process. I'm going to get that one way down deep in there. And then on this one, the hole is right, right there. And then where did the other hole go? No, that's not where that one is. Hold on guys, trying to find the hole. I guess I lost it, so let me make a new one and see how this looks. Okay. So for the second one, I gotta use my glue gun. And get that guy right in there. 
And I'm going to use my pliers to push it down in, or if you have another stick, um, you know, your helpers, I like to call them helpers. And I got that one in there like that, so I can kind of put this ribbon. I'm going to cut this ribbon a little bit shorter, guys. That's also part of the uh, creative process. It's also a good idea to try to leave your, your ribbon a little bit longer, so you can cut it as you go. I want this to go underneath the chicken wire so it looks really cute. Just like that. So I'm going to have it stick up out of the chicken wire. So there's the first one. It's just a little rainbow piece that goes through. Just like that. And now this one is the curly one. Did I have it like this? Just trying to remember how I had it wrapped around. Okay, that's how I had it. All right, so this guy gets glued in on the front. There's the hole. All right. I'm going to get a big old glob of glue from my glue skillet. Make lots of circles to kind of cut down on the uh, strings. Place that guy right in there. There we go. There we go. All right. I got some glue here on the can. Just pull that right off. There we go, guys. And so now this one, I placed, this one ends right here. Now this one's coming up from right here. And I left the, the regular ribbon curl in it. I'm just going to wrap it around the egg. I want it to go around pretty tightly. So I'm going to pull on it a little bit more. And I'm going to have this one kind of end. Now this is wire, so you can bend it to your will. And actually, let me see if I can get this through here. I want this to come through. Oh, look how cute that is. I'm going to get these little pieces to come through the wire on the front. Look how cute that is. It sticks out. I'm going to pull these little pieces through the chicken. Oh, that's so cute. I have cuteness aggression. It's like seeing a puppy or a kitten. So cute with this chicken wire. Okay. And I'm going to get it to stick on here. When we put stuff in here to fall, I'm probably going to have a way to glue that tighter to the top. Just like that. Okay, yeah. Very happy. All right, so I'm going to... Basically, I glued it right... I mean, I pushed it in right here behind where I have my bow on the back. All right? So I'm going to pull it back out, and I'm just going to put glue right here on the end of the... Oh, 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 no, no, no. Right on the end of that, and push that right back in where I had it. to stay in there but it's kind of sliding down a little bit that's not an issue what I'm gonna do is I need to find a way to bend it naturally so it doesn't look like it's broken or you know it's got too much of a bend in it that's looking good I'm gonna put a tiny little dab of glue right here where's that hole at the hole's down here. All right, so what I need to do is put a little dab of glue here. What I might do is just put some moss over it, too. I'm putting a tiny bit of glue on the egg right here, and I'm pushing this piece into it. I'll show you as soon as I get it dry. You can't even really see this where it's at, but I might just put, like, a little, just a little piece of moss left, you know, on these little chunks here and there, so it kind of looks like uh, these little guys grew together. You'll see how that holds. I only put a little piece right there, but I may put moss around these, these edges here. So there's the back and then the, the wire twists around the front. 
And then I got it to twist around the front here and towards the front here. You, you really can't see it too well on camera, but when you're looking at the piece close up, you, your eyes are really poured towards the chicken wire because you can see the silver and it's kind of shiny. You know that moss color, that moss covered chicken wire would look really good too. I think that would look really good in the in the in it too. <sighs> You give great in giving instructions. Thank you, Donna. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Use the wire piece that you took off and thread through the wire to around the base of the egg. Use the wire piece that you took. Oh, the, this wire piece that I took off of um, that I took off of the spool. I see what you mean. And then use that, like push it into the egg. Oh my God, I love it. So cute. You know that means I have to. Oh, but love you again. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome, Trish. I did the same thing. You buy a tutorial, you, you see a, a Facebook Live, and it's like, all right, now I gotta go buy supplies. Yep. Uh, here you find your ideas are great. Thank you, Melody. We don't have Michaels or Hobby Lobby, and obviously don't have a Dollar Tree in Northern Ireland, so it's hard to get this stuff. Okay, Kim, but you have to figure, um, do you have anything like this? Do you have any kind of craft store? Because this doesn't necessarily have to be farmhouse. If you can get Easter decorations and a bucket, any kind of bucket, any kind of, like you could use a terracotta pot. This would look really cute in a terracotta flower pot. Use a flower pot from like uh, your regular like uh, garden store and uh, some Easter decorations with some grass, Easter grass around it. Um, anything you can find locally, you can put together and the same technique applies. So if as long as you got chicken wire, terracotta pot or anything else that you can you can probably get whether it's at your regular um the equivalent of whatever walmart is in your country <laughs> i don't know what that is wherever you get your normal your normal goods there has to be stuff uh you could use a colander uh, a draining colander for the kitchen and then put moss in the bottom of it so it kind of sticks out the holes a little bit and then put your styrofoam in that you could use kitchen appliances stuff like that um, or yeah, you can go on eBay. That's a good idea, Jackie. The stores, sites, they deliver FedEx or UPS. Um, yeah, but I don't know if they do that out of the country. Some of the stores won't deliver out of the country. Hi from Nebraska. Hi, Linda. They also have rustic chicken wire. Would it be better to put in wire before flowers? You know, Sherry, it might be. It might be, but I'm not done with flowers. I just wanted to do that, uh, ribbons first, and then I'm going to finish. I'm still finishing with flowers. It probably would be. I wish I would have taken pictures as you progressed in your... Well, Melody, you can take a look. I'm going to put this whole video up on YouTube, and you'll be able to, to go back and rewind and fall for... You know what? Rewind, skip, fast forward. Don't forget, guys, I still have these eggs I'm going to put in. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not going to use this, but I might. I'm not going to, you know what? I'm not going to say I'm not going to do anything, you guys, because so far, the stuff I said I'm not going to do, I've done. So... Let me see what I got going on here. I also have moss. Okay, let me just fill in with a few little... I want to get these white flowers in here. These white flowers are telling me that they want to be in this... Look how cute that is. I need to put white flowers in here. So what I'm going to do is... Cut these guys a little bit shorter than they already are. And then let me see how far I gotta push them in. Yeah, they're telling me they need to be in there. And when I push them in, they look super cute. So I'm gonna go with it. Just adding a cute little white flower and I like the movement you get off of it. Can't say no. And then there's a couple of these here, you guys, that I can turn into two pieces into two picks. Let me find it. I got daffodils I need to put in also. I'm not going to use the green ones. Um, yeah. I may add a little bit more of this, one more of these somewhere, like maybe off over on this side. And it's not about really being balanced in my opinion. I just kind of want it to be, what's the word I'm looking for? Not symmetrical, not, doesn't have to be balanced, doesn't have to be symmetrical. It just has to be cute. I guess that's the word I'm going for. So it's cute. Yeah, whatever. So I cut that piece off the top of it, and I'm going to take this leaf off the bottom of the one I cut off of, and I'm going to put that 
on this new pick I made. So I cut that flower basically into two and I made this into a new pick. So I'll show you what I did. This is what the stem looks like when you cut it off of the bush. All right. So if you see here, you've got a lot of different parts. I have a leaf right here. And then next I have this little flower here on its own. Okay. And then I have another leaf and then another two flowers. See? So what I've done is I've cut, I've pushed all this down and I'm cutting this piece off by itself. Okay. So now this one's by himself here. And I'm going to take the bottom, the bottom leaf off of the other stem, place it onto this stem here, push it up towards the top, and I just turn that into its own little pick. So from this bush to this stem to this pick, and then it adds just your, your small little extras of flowers that you want to place here and there, the stuff that you just want a little hint of white, a little hint of of something you can't necessarily put this entire pick in. It adds, it still gives you the, the option of adding what you want. You want to add this little white flower in, but you can't get it because it's too big. No, not true. We can make it, we can make it work. We can make it small enough that it'll be just fine. I had extra daffodils cut somewhere. There we go. And you know what, you guys, I pulled that extra greenery in and it looks like I'm not going to need it, which is a good thing. It's a very good thing. Yeah, that's going to work out just fine, just fine. There's that side. That side's pretty much filled in. I'm good with that. Wait. Okay. What does it say? Now, do you can rewatch on YouTube tomorrow? Okay. I can remember her name. Oh yeah, it's Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. If you want, you guys, I have my phone over here. Uh, on YouTube, same name. And also on my Facebook page, if you go to the About section under Website, there is the link to my YouTube channel, Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots, because right now that is my website until I have it finished. I don't have my website quite done just yet, but I'm working on it. So you can get to my YouTube channel that way as well. These guys I cut off, but I'm not going to use. Um, so let's see. I need to put stuff in the bow. I need to add some flowers into the bow. I don't know if I want to put that whole thing in there or not. Let's see how this looks. And then I need to add eggs and moss and a couple more little flower, little flower spots, you know, goodies here and there. This right here. Kind of covering up too much of the bow. Let me see what I have. Normally you guys have extra leaves and stuff I can cut off, but all these things have like long leaves on them, so I don't have much I can stick in there. Maybe I can throw another one of these guys in there. And see, that one pulled off just the way it's supposed to. Pulled the whole thing off. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's weird and... bit of 
this that guy coming out right there kind of like a little springy type uh little interest here and there let me see if i can get this guy down in here yep that looks good right there so i'm gonna pull them back out add some glue and hopefully see if i can add because i really honestly can't see in here so i don't know where i put it in there we go Of course, that's not where I had it. I'm just grabbing the stem down here lower, you guys, to get a, a lower center of gravity to grab it and push it further down into the styrofoam where I wanted it. All right, that would be cute there, but it's not really. I'm gonna pull it off of the. Let me see if I can just glue that right in there like that. It's still a little bit too long, so I gotta cut it. And then glue all these in individually. Ugh, that's a nightmare. I'm just gonna. I'm actually going to use my floral tape, guys, because I, I cut all the daffodils off, but do you see how all these loose stems I have now? I am not going to glue those individually into the, into the bow. So I'm just going to take my floral tape and wrap it a little bit. And floral tape, I didn't know for the longest time that you have to pull on it and stretch it to activate the sticky. Someone had brought, uh, you know, you get those D-stash pages where you can buy people's supplies. Well, before those pages existed back in the day, someone gave me all their supplies and said, oh, here, you're, you will enjoy this. I did not realize that you had to pull on floral tape. I looked at it and I go, what are you going to do with this? It doesn't stick to anything. <laughs> yeah. The, the beginner crafter figured it out after, I don't know, what, 15, 20 years. I only found it out like a couple years ago. It was wonderful. I was like, that's great, Whitney. So soak it up with lots of glue, and I'm gonna push it right here into the center of my bow. So now I got a bunch of cute little daffodils poking out, poking out from the bow right there in the front. I think this guy would look good right here. But it's too thin, so I gotta put a steel pick on it. Let me see if that would even work. <clears throat> no, that's too big. I'll put that on the back. So let me see if I can get a steel pick on this. This one's really super thin. Yeah, that steel pick's on there pretty good. Okay. So let's see if I can win this battle. Because I want what I want, what I want. And some, oh, I got a little spot right here. I got a little hole. Some of this stuff is, you know, natural as far as for just kind of normal, kind of par for the course, I guess you could say. Um, but those are things that can be reworked or reshaped. Um, after, you know, after your client gets it in the mail, gets the item shipped, that's stuff that they can fix. Things that can be handled. All right, guys, I just found something in my glue. I'm going to put it here. This silicone mat is awesome, by the way. This pink mat you guys can see right here. I got it on Amazon a while back. comes with a bunch of other tools also. But for the longest time, I didn't have anything to um, for my glue gun to just kind of drip onto. And it's, it's very, very, very helpful. Okay, so it looks like... Where is this at? 
I got another little guy here. I got I got a I got a big gap right here in the back. You can see in around here, around all that. I need to fill that. So I'm gonna do it with some daffodils and probably another little another little pick of this white guy here. What do you guys say? Eggs a toy. Love it, landing good times. I'm excited to be watching this lady. <laughs> That's cute, Leanne. That's funny. Oh, too funny, Trish. Love Trish. That's an excellent idea. You guys are funny. That's cute. Oh, oh. I think Linda's getting impatient for eggs. Yeah, I could put an egg in the boat too. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. Oh, your I sell farm eggs. Oh, Linda, that's perfect. See, that's what I thought. This is going to be like, um, Oh, Melody, yeah, Crafty Thoughts and Whatnots. It's the same name as my Facebook page as my YouTube page. Okay, let's see. Let me go back down. Um, yeah, I'm going to put an egg. That's a good idea, too. I'm going to nestle another egg down there. Yep, good idea, guys. That's why I have you as my buddies. You're here for a reason. Let's put some eggs in this. Let's do this. Light green doesn't look too bad. I'm going to use a couple of light green and a couple of white. So I'll pull these out. And what I liked about this bag right here from Michaels was that there are different sizes. You see here, I've got two, two different sizes in that bag alone. And then I bought these little small ones here at Hobby Lobby. So all of it, all of it worked out really, really well. You guys save this raffia. It always comes in handy when you're doing other projects. It's really super, um, you know, if you can actually untie it without losing your pressure. Comes in handy for other projects. I used it on my um, Christmas candles. Um, the store-bought candles you can get at the 99 cent store, the grocery store. These, This comes in handy for little tiny projects, so I save it. Let me show you guys my little... This is my box of goodies. I save all my little ribbon remnants, all my cuts of stuff. This, you never know when things can come in handy. So, until it gets out of control, I will save it. If it starts to get a little out of control, then yeah, I might not, might not put so much into the into a project or into my my save of, of what what do you call it? Garbage box. <laughs> All right, I also like the, now look, these are all stuck together just like that. I like these little dark colored ones because they add a little bit more texture in there and they look really cute. Um, and then also I want to get this moss done around this egg over here. I'm not sure how to open this. Apparently it's sealed, but for some reason, even though it's sealed, it's still leaking all over my table. There's another reason why I don't really like to use moss, you guys. It sheds a lot. But I think it's going to give us exactly the look that we want. Oh yeah, it's cute. It's actually not stinky. I thought it would be stinky. Alright guys, so I got moss and eggs. Possibilities have just exploded. All right, guys. Let me see how this is going to go. I just need to place some moss in certain little strategic spots. I'm going to place moss to cover up this piece of the egg, you know, where the eggs are touching so that you can't really see too much. And I need to put some here. I'm going to kind of put little tufts of moss all over this thing here just to kind of just to kind of also secure it and then also to um, to kind of make it all uniform make it look like it's a little bit of a naturally grown piece that way I, I don't know what the words I'm looking for you guys you need to let me know so it probably would have been a good idea to do this before because I can't seem to get this stuff in here now underneath this, underneath this, uh, 
this goodie, but we will all win. Okay, what I gotta do is I gotta use gravity to help me with the glue on this, you guys. So, one second while I get this situated the way I want it. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. <laughs> I won. See that? I basically had gravity get the glue down in there where I wanted it, and then my moss is in there right where I want it, so I'm good to go. Little extra pieces here and there never hurts. I'm going to kind of stick some under in other areas, and I'm going to stick some moss. I'm just randomly gluing it in places, guys. I'm not really following a pattern or an idea. I'm just taking this moss and gluing it here and there. Oh, I see hearts. I love how you explain everything. <laughs> these, <j> <laughs> these jokes are hard-boiled. That's a good Susan. <laughs> uh, Whitney's extraordinary. Yeah, you guys are awesome. <laughs> the cheese, the cheese. I love the cheese. No yolk, I'm, far I'm fried. <laughs> Bravo. Yep, she's actually hardcore beautiful, but I think her heart's kind of soft. Yeah, that's true. That is actually true. <laughs> it's funny and it's true. <laughs> Whitney's oblivious to it. I'm in my zone, but I stop every once in a while, Trish. Stop every once in a while. I have a little spot here. Uh-oh. Got a phone call. I don't know if that messed up anything, guys, so... Let's just keep trucking along. I'm going to add this guy down here. I'm just kind of also tucking it in between the egg and the flowers. Sometimes that's starting to look really good too to me. And then for the eggs, I, I think I can just literally just sit them in there and glue them on. I don't really want to uh, put sticks and dowels in all of them, if you know what I mean. I just stuck this little guy right here in the middle. Put a little bit of moss around it. Um, let's see. Where's that other big green one? I'll put this green one right here. Yeah, for this, I'm going to have to put the little sticks in them. So that's a good thing I saved these dowels from earlier. Oh, that broke. Dowels from earlier. So I'm going to have to put some sticks in some of them to get them in the bottom. And I'll show you guys in a sec. Let me put the glue on this guy here. And then I'll show you where I want to put it. This one's, this, sorry guys, this tutorial is a little bit longer, but that's part of the creative process, right? That's just part of having fun and creating. I want to put that one right there. So that's where the extra dowel comes in, extra pieces, extra chopsticks, extra skewers. And that's how you get those guys down in there. You see how that little green guy looks really cute right there? And then I'm going to use these little dark ones in certain places. Like, I just, I, I feel like I need to, to glue them. I mean, I just, I don't know what it is about this these little dark ones. They just make me happy. This set came stuck together, but they're not, like, permanently stuck together. But I can make them that way since it pulled the paint off of it now. Great. So 
Looks like these guys are going to be a new family. They're going to just get stuck together. Now this bottom egg right here, they're, they're getting a little kind of covered. I'm, I'm getting a little worried. Um, let's see, she used them before and let a few out. Do you have a little yellow chick? I don't. I wanted to keep it more farmhouse. Well, I mean, yeah, chick wouldn't really be, it wouldn't really be Eastery, would it? Chick would be cute. No, I don't have one. I don't have a little bird. I got bunnies, but nah. I can't comment from my iPad. I have to comment on my phone technology. Yeah, it kind of, it's weird. How do you know when you've done enough? Hard to know when to quit adding things. Would it be easier to use a Lazy Susan? Yeah, Joanne, it would. I've seen Julie Simaka do that before. A Lazy Susan would be a really good idea. I just don't have an extra one. But yeah, it would be really cool. A little bird would be cute in there. But I figured that since the eggs are so big, a little tiny bird would be like, are those dinosaur eggs compared to a little bird? So I was like, mm, yeah, I just stick with eggs. You know what I mean? Butterfly would be cute too. Yeah. A chopstick that she broke into cheese or do a dear little old chick. What dowel did you save? Oh, Melody, I use skewers this time. I usually, I've used chopsticks. I thought, these are just kitchen skewers. You can use, you get a couple hundred of them. You can get them at the dollar store. You can get them online. You can get them anywhere. So they're just these really sharp food skewers. I Normally I use chopsticks. And I used them to put the big eggs in. So I just cut them up and, uh, and then put... Um, Put them in to the small eggs. All right, yep, these guys are going to go in the back. Right in there somehow. So let me see how I can get this in. Some of these, if I want to place them in certain spots, I'm going to have to use skewers on them. And it's going to be a little bit of a... I also don't want to... I don't want to like injure my fingers. So I had to glue those together because they were stuck together. And then when I took them apart, it took the paint off of them. So I glued them together and then I just stuck a little bit of piece of moss in the middle of that. And I'll show you where I'm going to put them on the back. Okay, I want to place this little group of, of eggs here right down here in, the, in this piece. So again, yeah, I'm, I'm putting a little bit of effort into the back of it, but that's, you know, that's sometimes that's where the best creativity ideas come from, you know. I'm cutting that off at a diagonal there, so I have a good way to push this into the styrofoam down in there. So now that I have a hole, I'm going to pull it back out. Hopefully I'll be able to find that hole. There's no way I'm going to find that hole again. I can't see it. I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of this stick. And I'm going to try to aim for where I had it before. Yeah, no. That's not where it was. And then since I can't get my hand down there, I'm going to use my pliers to continually push that into the styrofoam. Remember, I have a huge amount of styrofoam in there. Yeah, my glue hardened, you guys, so that's about where it's got to stick. I'm going to put a flower in there. I wanted those eggs a little bit further down, but what do you guys think? You can kind of see the stick right there. So I'm going to have to put a flower or something under here to kind of hide that. I could put moss under there. What do you think about the moss? Does the moss look good under there? Because I think if I put a flower, it might be too much. I'll have to catch all this on replay. Yes, uh, Valerie, it'll be on YouTube for sure with pictures. A chicken would be cute. Dang, Whitney, I may need to buy this one. Oh my gosh, really? Well, it'll be for sale, sweetheart. Trust me, I got I got pheasant feathers. Yes, Leanne, that'll be good. Um, thank you, Andrea. It will be for sale. I will have it up on Etsy. Christine, I don't mind how long it takes. You are so interesting. I agree with Christine. Okay, well, thanks, guys. That's why I love you. <laughs> oh, what are you making? Vicki, we are making an egg centerpiece. 
like more farmhousey spring summer than more Easter, but it's all cute. Moss, moss, moss. You love it? All right. I'm going to put the moss in there. Let me figure out I'm going glue, to glue this guy up here to the ribbon and a little bit here to the egg. So I put moss on both sides of that. I mean glue. Put moss on both sides. I put glue on both sides of that, and I'm going to kind of hold it up under here. And that's a little hot. Woohoo! So I'm going to hold that up against the egg and against the ribbon. Kind of put that there like that. It's the, you know, it's these tiny little touches. You're going to see them from all angles, no matter where you're holding it or how you're placing it on your table or in your, you know, in your decor. You're going to see this. You're going to see little something new every time you sit down or every time you take a peek at something, you know, your eye is going to be drawn to different areas at different times. And you'll be excited to see you know, your, the, your creations. I'm going to tuck some moss into this bow, you guys. I needed greenery, and this moss is speaking to me. So I'm going to tuck some moss into the bow in the front because I love that. So I just needed a little bit of greenery in that ribbon. Uh, what else did I want, you guys? I put one egg on there, but I didn't put many others. I wanted to put another egg possibly right there. What do you guys think, a green one or a... Where did the other white one go? Here it is. I could put another white, I could put a white egg here. And then another egg kind of like right here between these daffodils. You can glue that egg there. Or, oh, a cream one, a cream colored egg. I got this kind of like cement colored looking guy right here. That's cute. Oh yeah, that's going right there. Right here into the daffodils. That's just super cute right there. That little tiny egg. And then what do you guys think about this one right here? Should I do another white one? This one's white and this is white. Otherwise, um, the big eggs that I had to work with were the green. It's either that or green. Where did my bag of eggs go? I had a bag of eggs. <laughs> You guys, I lost my other days. Yeah, see, there's the bigger eggs. I don't have anything other than a darker green. And the lighter green seems to be better. Too many eggs? Smaller egg. Okay, so not this egg, but this egg, the smaller egg up front. Green won't show up as well. Crafty Thoughts and whatnot is your Etsy. Oh yeah, Crafty Thoughts Shop is my Etsy name. Thank you guys. Yes, so much. Under the white flower. Under this white flower here. A white one or a green one? I definitely need to put more eggs in here, guys, but that's about it. I think, you know, I put this green one back here. I put this green one back here, and then those little groupings of the dark ones are here. I feel like I need to kind of, um... Oh, my egg fell out. No, no, no. No, my egg fell off. Hold on, guys. I'm going to get this guy glued in here, whether it's the, if it's the last thing I do. This is probably one of the little special needs ones that you got to sit here and hold. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. Yes, yes, yes. Since I'm, since I'm buying used green. Oh, <laughs> okay. So smaller egg. Green won't show up as well since you're buying used green. Light green, 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 green. Andrea is buying. She said green. Needs some green eggs. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right. We will put a green one right up there. This is going to be a skewer situation. Where did my skewer go? I'm going to put a little, little hole on that. What do you think? Right there? 
That looks good right up front. Hey, I found the hole it was in. That's amazing. Alright, where's that little hole? Yeah, there's a hole right here I need to cover. Maybe I can actually throw an egg in there. Unless that would look kind of weird, like there's an egg growing out of it. I don't like that. It looks kind of gross. <laughs> it looks really gross, actually. Alright, I'm going to put some more moss in it. But kind of work it coming down on this side. So right now, you guys, the hole that I pulled the ribbon out of is still exposed, so I need to throw some moss in here, and I'm going to have it kind of come down off the bottom of this guy here. So, that's to get that piece secure. that piece secure all right and then I had another oh okay I'm gonna get another chunk of moss and stick that closer to the front see if it goes over top of the uh... yeah it looks good I'm gonna put it on top of the chicken wire This stuff isn't shedding bad. It must be the type of moss I bought. It just says the moss collection. Um, I, I guess previously before I bought some other stuff that when you pull it apart, it just flies everywhere. But this is a different type of moss, I guess. So this stuff isn't shedding as much as I thought it would. I have very minimal stuff here on my table. It's not looking bad at all. We're on an egg roll tonight. <laughs> Green egg, never too many eggs. Excellent. We are on an egg roll. I learned by working. You learned by working with your grandma. Where did she learn? You know what? I don't know. My grandma just was always so good at uh, bows and decorating. She, she just was natural at it. My grandma was also a very good painter. And this was back in the early, I want to say early 1900s. She was born, I think, 1920s. I'd have to ask my mom. I can't remember. Oh, I can tell you one thing. She was, hold on. I think my grandma was 78 when she passed. And when she passed, I was uh, 17 years old. I was trying to figure out how old she was. Early, seven, early, early, early 1900s. You, women weren't really artists. And my grandma wanted to become an artist. She wanted to go to art school. She could draw and paint. And just make the most gorgeous things, and that's not just that's not what that's not what ladies did back in the day. So my grandma uh, got married and had some kids, and that's what she did. But she's always been really good at it. I'm gonna assume that she learned from um, that she learned from her mother, maybe, and her grandmothers back in the day. I do know that my other um, my aunt, my well, it would have been my great aunt. It would have been my my grandma's sister. So my great aunt, uh, great aunt Wilma, she. Uh, she liked some of that stuff too, but she always said she wasn't into it as much as Lucille. My grandma's name was Lucille. Um, she's like, I was never into it as much as Lucille was. So I'm going to add another egg over here on this side. I think I'm not going to put, I was going to put this in guys, but I decided I'm not going to. I really like what we've got going on here. I think right now I'm probably almost done. Um, other than maybe a few more egg, maybe a little bit more, maybe another egg back here somewhere. I'll probably put an egg right here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, I could put one more egg back here. Let me see, do I have another skewer? Of course I do. I think one more egg on the back, guys, and I'm done. And then I'll, I'll hold it up and show you guys. 
um, against maybe the, the wall or something that's a little bit more clear to see. We're going to cut these skewers at a diagonal. You got something sharp to put into the uh, styrofoam. So that's sort of diagonal. Yeah, look at that. That's cute right there. That's so cute right there. It's perfect. Apparently I didn't find the hole it was already in. There we go. Pull this guy a little forward where it was. See that right there? That's where I put that egg at. And just for giggles, I'm going to glue another one right over it. Boop. Right like that. And I'm going to put this chunk of extra moss right there. Just a tiny bit of glue on a tiny little spot. Again, the little tiny details is where you're going to see your, 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 you'll notice that your eye is drawn to it and then you can't help but, you know, just if those are the things that you enjoy, you'll, you'll notice them and then you'll think, wow, you know, this is really something that I didn't realize I'd love so much. All right, guys, I think I'm done. I'm going to show you the end result. If for some reason I add something to it, I'll tell you when I post it in the Facebook page. Um, and then the finished product will be at the end of the YouTube video and then also at the very end, um, actually on my Etsy shop when I, when I get this guy listed. Or if you're interested before I, it's, before I list it, first come, first serve, guys. Message me on Facebook um, through Messenger and tell me you want it. And I'll give you the price and then if not, next in line, I'll take it. Uh, I got to work out what it's going to be though. So what do you guys think so far? Let me turn you a little bit like this. This is what we're working with guys. So you can see closer up, you can see the chicken wire here. You can see the moss pieces on there. I got a few little moss pieces here. And you got a little egg in the bow. Got another little egg hidden right here. Here's this side. Here's the back. So you've got eggs, got a little egg here, a little bit of bow. Here's the last piece I added right there. And then there's the tiny little bot. There's a tiny little bit of moss right in there. So you get just a tiny little bit of, a little bit of moss. It's just those little tiny stories. It's like a little tiny sub story. It's just so cute. Makes me happy. I'm gonna burn, bend this down a little bit more. Pull that down. There you go, guys. So you got your handle still pokes out a little bit here. I got the ribbon sort of coming behind it there. And your chicken wire wraps all around that. I don't think the chicken wire is really showing up that much here on, on camera, but when I take my pictures in with the, with the studio lights, you should be able to see all the little extra details and stuff like that. But you guys, I'm in love with this. I really am super in love with this. I would love to make 20,000 more of these. This was so much fun. And you know, every time you duplicate it, everything's going to look different. Not, not one piece will ever be the same. So that's the fun part. That's the fun part. Let's see what you guys have to say. Something missing in front. Two holes. Oh, you mean kind of like right here where the chicken wire is? Hmm. Maybe I can get an egg in there. Let me see if I can get an egg in there. It wouldn't be glued in, but if I can get an egg in there. Yeah. It's bending the chicken wire is what it's doing. It has to be a smaller egg. Here we 
we go. It's not glued in, but it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I got another little egg in front here. Where do you see another hole at? I got like a little something down here. Hmm. Kind of seeing that. I put a little egg right in there. Where are we at here? Tiny little egg right in there. You can barely see it. In the bottom near the ribbon. You mean like right here? Like in this spot here? Thank you, Jeanette, for sharing. Thank you, Trish, for sharing. That's right. Talk to you later than never. Oh, better late, better late than never. Luann, no problem. The, the re replay will be up on YouTube tonight. I'll, I'm going to stay and, and get everything done. It's uh, about 4, 4.30 my time. So I'll have time to get this all, you know, edited and put it on. Looks great. I could always put more moss in to hide holes. I don't see any holes, guys, but, you know, I maybe you're talking about right here. Give me some hearts if this is what you mean. A hole like right here in the back also between eggs. Well, I don't want to squish the ribbon on this guy. That's where I put moss there. Unless you're talking about here, 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 here. I don't see it. I think I've got some glue strings I'm going to pull out. You mean between the big eggs? Because I put the moss there between the big eggs so you can't really see the glue or how it's how they're sitting. It kind of looks like they're just sitting together now. No holes, it's gorgeous, looks perfect the way it is. I like the airy nature, not too much, just right. Like it, like it, stop. <laughs> Joanne says, stop, stop. <laughs> looks great to me, looks great. Francis Rio, no, that's enough, looks great. Yes, there it is. Okay, so yeah, someone, you guys are saying like right here in the bottom. I don't really wanna put anything there. I mean, if, if you were to see it close up, you can see there's some green leaf here. Maybe it's a shadow. It could be the shadow too from what we're looking at here. Could be the shadow. That's where the, the, the chicken wire is coming in. And then there's a green leaf from these white flowers here. And it might seem like a hole. But if you see guys there, you can't really see in. You're not looking at anything. The chicken wire is going in to the thing. I don't really know what else I'd stick there. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and make the executive decision to just leave it. I don't want to put too many little tiny things here and here because then it'll look like it's just kind of all, you know, crazy little itty bitty um, pieces everywhere might make it look a little weird. I'm pretty good with what we got going on here. That moss, you guys, by the way, the moss with the hot glue is keeping this chicken wire in place perfectly. It, it, it's a very good idea. And this is the moss I bought. I don't know what kind it is. I don't know what it's called. It just said, oh, reindeer. It's reindeer moss in chartreuse. So I got lime green reindeer moss. I will keep that in mind. Item number 854174 at Hobby Lobby. Normally $5.99. I use my 40% off for it. So reindeer moss. This stuff, I've never used it before. This stuff is kind of awesome. I guess I got a new idea, guys. I got new stuff. Wait till you see what else I got planned. Oh, I also have an order that I got from a sign supplier that I bought from before, but I got some really cute smaller signs, and then I also did a Joann's haul, so I'll probably do a Facebook Live, uh, if not tomorrow, then on Friday during the day, just to go over supplies, and it's not a tutorial, it'll just be, hey, let me show you what I bought, um, and then of course, the, the goodies I got coming in from Craft Outlet, so I can make some more of those daisy wreaths, and then I'm also going to make some dahlia wreaths, and have those for sale on my Facebook, I'm sorry, on my Etsy shop. Uh, those are going to be super affordable. So if you guys want to take a peek and you're interested in a mesh wreath, I can't do a tutorial on those because it's from a tutorial that I purchased from someone else. And you are not allowed to share tutorials if you purchase them. It's unethical and it's also against the law. <laughs> so I'm just making those and I'm selling those. I'm, you know, getting my way closer to getting to Texas. I've already bought, don't worry guys, I've already bought Texas. Texas has been bought and paid for, but... Um, I need to replace it. <laughs> so I'm just going to be making some more wreaths, but I'll go through those orders with you guys too after that too. 
So today was super fun, super cute. I absolutely love this guy. It's also not too tall. If you see that, that's a really good size for a table, for a centerpiece. It's bright and it's very springy. It looks really good. I'm very happy and I really appreciate all your help today. You guys helped me a lot with everything. Reminds me of hidden duck egg nest near a pond. Yes, it does. That's very good, Pam. That's perfect. That's, I love the way you described it. I love that. Yes, that is very good. Um, let's see. Butterfly. I don't have butterflies. I wish I did. On the egg and the left. You made the right decision. Nothing else exactly. Love the chicken wire. It's beautiful. Call it done, Roxanne. I call it done. <laughs> I'll get too much if... I'll get too much if you try to shove anything else in it. Okay. Um, love it the way it is. Po it's the possibilities endless. Yes, it is. I, I want to make like 25 more of these. These are just super cute. Again, I'm going to go take some pictures and get those up on Facebook for you guys to see more detail. Um, other than that, it may have taken a while. Sure. I chit chat a little bit, but that's the best part about it. It's fun to be here with you guys and to show you these things. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, give me all the comments and ideas you can in the, uh, below. And then I'll answer as many as I get to. Usually on YouTube, it's easier for me to get to your comments than Facebook for some reason. Um, so as much as I can, show me, show me some love. Tell me what you guys like, what you don't like. Um, constructive criticism is always accepted. <laughs> I don't know if that's a dangerous thing to say or not. <laughs> but um, that's it, you guys. There's the back. That turned out super cute. I love it. So you get a little bit of bow here, but you get the main event here. So... Again, thank you guys all for everything and all of your encouragement and then um, all of your, you know, your messages have always come well received. Um, other than that, you guys, you're the best, Whitney. Thank you. Loving it. Loving your new job. Um, sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's, it's always fun when you can do what you love for a living. So we're, we're going to get the living part down, but I'm still doing what I love, you guys. I'm not going anywhere. Don't get worried. I know a lot of you guys got worried and mess private messaged me that you weren't going to see me anymore or that you can't pay for anything. Don't worry about that. I'm not, I'm not going to completely shut down and only charge people for things. That's just not how I do it. But everyone knows you got to get, you got to, you know, somehow you got to survive, right? So don't worry about that. You'll still see videos. You're still going to see Facebook lives. You're going to possibly still see YouTube lives in the future. I'm still figuring that one out. Um, a website. You're going to see good things for me. So I'm stuck, you guys. You guys you guys are stuck with me. How's that? You guys are stuck with me. I agree, Sari. C cells. Oh, Jesus. 11 where you're at? Oh, that's right, because you're probably out of, out of the country. Happy Easter. You too, guys. Miss the live. Looks super cute. No problem, Sarah. I'll have it up on YouTube at Crafty Thoughts and Whatnot. Same thing. You can check that. I'll have it posted on my Facebook page, too. Lydia, my Etsy is the craft, uh, it's Crafty Thoughts Shop. There's also a link to that on my front of my Facebook page. Just hit the Shop Now button. You'll, it'll take you over to Etsy. Uh, Sherry, oh, you guys want to see something with seashells. All right. I will do something. I will, I will make something up, and we'll see. That'll be along the lines. I'll do that. Seashells. And white feathers, have you decided on a price for your group yet? Bobby, I'm not going to do a group yet. I'm going to do a paid tutorial first to see how that goes. I did not have enough interest for a group. A group is going to be a lot and a lot of work, and it will take away from a lot of things. And the amount of interest would not be, wouldn't be conducive yet. I just need to get some more people. Uh, and I'll do, an, I'll do another survey later, and I won't be doing a group just yet. But I will be doing a few paid tutorials here and there. My first one coming out, you guys, is going to be super great. It's, it'll be well worth it, and it'll be very affordable. It'll be very affordable, trust me. I, I only have your best interests in mind, guys. Trust me. I'm not going to be uh, disappearing from you guys anytime soon. I love all you. You're a keeper. Retirement suits you. Yeah, retirement. That's nice. Retirement at 37 years old. No, that's not retirement. <laughs> I wish. Uh, oh, Irina, you don't mind being stuck with me? Oh, and a little heart. You guys are great. All right, guys, um, I'll try and come back and answer some of the questions that I missed during the Facebook Live while I'm waiting for YouTube to upload and everything to render. And then I'll get with you guys. So, again, send me some messages if you want. And uh, other than that, I'll have the pictures up for you guys. And thanks, everyone, so much. I uh, appreciate everybody's support, your, your, your kind words, all heartwarming. Um, and until next time, you guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.